Mr. Fritz. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Really quickly before we start, I have a couple exciting announcements. One, this video is sponsored by Native. Ooh. And two, if you guys might have missed the last video I posted, I do have a very exciting announcement. We have merch. Ooh. That'll be linked down below in the description and there's also like a cute little bar down there now that shows off all the merch and stuff. That's real fancy. Thank you so much to everybody who did support the merch launch a few days ago. It was more than I ever expected and you guys are wonderful and amazing and I love you so very much. All right, I think that is everything for announcements. Today, we're gonna be doing a video that I attempted, I did attempt to do this video once before. So this will not be my very first Stitch Fix. You'll come to find that those words and that combination is incredibly hard for me to say. This will not be my very first Stitch Fix unboxing. However, it will be the first one on the channel. So I've seen a lot of people do Stitch Fix unboxings and stuff before, and honestly, I'm going to be like totally candid with you guys. I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand. Like, why do you pay money to have somebody else pick out clothes for you that you may or may not like and may or may not fit and you get them in the mail and then you have to send them back? Like, I don't honestly understand. I, I don't want to be mean or anything, but I honestly don't really fully under grasp just like the full concept of the subscription box. I have heard and witnessed myself that the clothes are pretty expensive. I'm fairly cheap when it comes to purchasing clothes, especially for like little fashion pieces. If it's something that I know I'm gonna wear a million billion times, like a jacket or sweater or hoodie or something like that, then I don't care to pay up for it a little bit. But like cute little going out fashion tops and things, most of those come from TJ Maxx. Maybe $16.99, but preferably $12.99 or less from TJ so this is quite like an adventure for me. This is something a little bit different, but if you guys don't know what Stitch Fix is, it is a clothing, but it's not even a subscription because like you can get it whenever you want to or not get it whenever you want to. And it, it, I don't know, but you pay a $20 styling fee. So that's how much you actually pay for the box. And then you get like a stylist that puts like a bunch of stuff together in a box and sends it to you. However, the styling fee does come off like if you purchase an item and then if you buy all of the items, you save 25% plus the $20 comes off your stuff. You do only have three days to send it back. I learned that last time. You have three days. <laughs> so as soon as you get it, you better try that stuff on, figure out what you like and what you don't like and send it back because they will charge you for the whole box. Thankfully, I made it by like the skin of my teeth last time and didn't have to pay for everything. I did keep two items though, a little pair of shorts and a dress. So this time we're gonna see what came inside of my box right here. It feels nice and heavy. I'm really hoping it's fall inspired because I'm fully done with summer. I'm over it. Can I open a box with a hammer? Oh, you can. All right, so inside here we have a little stack of papers that'll tell us about the clothes and like the prices and a little note from our stylist. It doesn't, it looks like they were a little bit rushed this time. It's typically like in a, well, I say typically, I've only received it once, but last time it was in like a cute little envelope. We also have the prepaid mailer, which is nice of them to send with your box. And then we have our little bundle of joy here. It's all wrapped up like, you know, when you get like meat from the deli, it's kind of wrapped like that. Um, I am, however, seeing some very exciting things to me. These are colors and textures <laughs> that I like. So let's go ahead and see what items are in here. Ooh. The very first thing I'm seeing is something that I'm excited about. Um, I love sweaters. This one looks really nice. It's super soft. It's like gray with some mustard on the sleeve and then like navy on the bottom. This does look and feel like a very nice sweater. However, it does look and feel like something I could get for potentially $16.99 at TJ Maxx. This is a Stitch Fix exclusive according to this little tag and it is from PinQ. Pink. All right, but cute, nice for fall. Next in here, we have a little oh, thing, a little like cropped stretchy camisole. Oh, this is from Free People. Isn't that expensive, Free People? I've heard of them before. It's a very nice like sturdy feeling ribbed cami, but that is nice, something I could definitely get use out of. Ooh, jeans. <laughs> Ooh, jeans. <laughs> This is scary. Oh, okay. They that that's my kind of jean. The one that expands by like three sizes. That's that's the kind of jean that I'm looking for. I haven't worn real jeans. I don't know, since like 2006 or something. And I haven't even worn like jeggings in months. It's been so long. So just seeing a pair of jeans makes me a little bit nervous. Hopefully I can squeeze my way into them. But these do feel very nice and soft. They're very, very blue. Um, This might be a little bit more like deep navyish blue that I'm used to wearing. These are from the bland, the, the bland, <laughs> the brand Just Black. They are in a size 
29. Oh, a size 8. They are the Grace High Rise Super Skinny Jean in the shade Indigo. So they are definitely very, very deep, deep, deep dark, deep, deep, dark denim. Really quickly before I move on to the rest of the items in the box, I would love to tell you guys what today's sponsor, Native. I've been using Native for a while now. You guys probably heard me talk about them on my channel before, but I was really excited to hear about and try out their new plastic-free packaging. The plastic-free deodorant has the same exact formula as their regular package deodorant, but with just much more sustainable packaging. It's made of paperboard instead of plastic, and Native is very committed to making sure they are sourcing from responsibly managed forests. So we have the standard package deodorant here, and this is the plastic-free packaging. So with the standard deodorant, you know, you just take off the top and roll it up here from the bottom. With the plastic free tube, all you have to do is take off the top tube there and then just push up from the bottom, kind of like a push pop. And then I just like to kind of squeeze it a little bit on the side to make sure it stays in place as I'm applying. And then from there, it's just as easy as like, you know, applying deodorant. Native deodorant isn't sticky, it dries quickly and it wears great all day. It's aluminum free, which is really important to me. It's also cruelty free and vegan. I've been using the coconut and vanilla, which is a very rich sweet scent. Then I've also been using lilac and white tea, which is like a light floral scent. And then I also have cucumber and mint, which is my current favorite. And it reminds me of like ye old cucumber melon. So I've really been enjoying it. Three plastic free deodorants are normally $39, but if you use my link and my code, which is Alexandria R3, you're going to get the three deodorants for $29, which is 25% off. So if you'd like to try native and you'd also like to save some money, just be sure to use my link down below in the description and my code. Ooh, this looks interesting. So the next thing in here, Oh, it's a skirt, cute. Okay, I've actually been getting into wearing like skirts and dresses a lot more than I have ever. I avoided especially dresses <laughs> like the plague for years uh, because one time when I was in fourth grade, I wore a dress to picture day and the teacher made fun of me in front of the class and then the class joined in and making fun of me for wearing a dress to picture day and then, you know, I just, I never wore them again. But this is a very like cute pattern skirt. It's floral. I like the cream color with that like kind of gray. Um, It is a zippered skirt, but I also see that there is some stretch to it, which is nice. This is also a size eight. It is also from Free People, so I'm assuming it's gonna be expensive. This is the Modern Denim Printed Mini Skirt in the shade of white. Um, But I personally really like this and I hope it fits and looks nice on me because I think this is pretty cute. And then last, but I'm going to assume it definitely not least because I oh my meat captain's falling. I love this color. This is like the perfect fall color. It's like a nice burnt orange looking like a little pumpkin. I'm very excited about this. I'm hoping it's like a cardigan. And oh it is! This is also from Pink 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 You. It is the Anale Two Pocket Textured Cardigan. This one says in the shade Cognac, but this one says in the shade Rustic caramel and I like the rustic caramel name better so that's what I'm gonna go with. Oh yeah, I definitely think this is like just old man enough for me to just really really enjoy. I actually don't even mind it with this shirt underneath. I kind of like that pink and like rusty orange combination. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try on all these things for you guys and then we can uh, come back here and look at some prices and cry together uh, because <laughs> I feel like these things are gonna be pretty expensive and I don't know if I have like the cash money right now to um, just buy a bunch of clothes. Partially because I might have just gone to TJ Maxx like a week ago and spent a hundred or more dollars on several mini tops. Okay, to the bedroom. Right, you guys, so this is the first little ensemble that I put together. We have the, ro what they call this? Rustic Caramel Roasted Caramel cardigan here. I do really like it. I think it's a nice length if I wanted to wear it with leggings or something. It has pockets, which is always lovely, and it is a very nice color. I have on the jeans, which are very super comfy. However, I'm not feeling a lot of support in the, the, the tummy area, and I need some more support in the tummy area recently. They're almost like too comfy and stretchy to where they don't really suck you in much, and I just feel a little bit more supported if I'm being sucked in. Also, like, they fit now, but if they do stretch out any, they are gonna be a little bit loose. I do have a lot of, like, room here in the back. Now the black top on the other hand, I do feel like it does feel very supportive. It is super stretchy, but it also feels structured. So this feels like it's giving me like a little bit of shape and stuff, which I like. I do like where the straps come up because I do like to see my straps when I wear like little sweaters and stuff with my camis. This is definitely like a me outfit. This is something that I would wear regularly, but I'm just wondering if I can do this for likely cheaper. I haven't seen the prices yet, but I just feel like I could definitely put together like an ensemble like this for 
probably cheaper than that card's gonna say. Also, hello, I'm sorry you can't see my face. I don't know how to set this up where you can like see everything. I'm very sorry about that. All right, I just went ahead and threw on the sweater with the jeans. It is super comfy. I like these colors. I like the color blocking and stuff on it. I don't know if it's really the most like flattering fit on me. It's a little bit boxy. Typically if I'm doing like a high-waisted jean, I do like a cropped sweater. But it is definitely very cozy and I'm sure it would be really nice for fall. I mean it's definitely keeping me toasty right now. I'm a little bit uncomfortably warm but um it is a very nice sweater. The detailing is really nice and it is super soft. I think it actually fits well. Like it fits well in the shoulders. It's not really pulling or anything. I just don't know how truly flattering it is. Especially like where this line hits like this personally is like the smallest part of my waist and it's just kind of making it look a little bit wider than I would like. Alright, and here is the last item, the skirt. I actually like this quite a bit. I do wish there were pockets. There are no pockets, but there is some like detailing, some stitching and stuff on the front of it, which I kind of like. From a distance, it almost kind of reminds me of like snakeskin or something, which I kind of like, but it's actually floral close up. I personally don't think it's too short or anything. I like the length of it. I don't know. I personally like it. I even like it with this combination here with the cardigan and the little black crop top. I think it's pretty cute. I think it's pretty comfy. So yeah, I might actually keep this. Let's try to not delete the footage this time and uh, I'll tell you guys some prices in the other room. All right, so that was the whole try on. I am now very warm. Um, Let's take a gander at some pricing here. We have the little oh hello card and this should have a note from the stylist. Howdy Alexandria. Well howdy Jennifer. So it gives me just like a little overview on how they would suggest styling everything. So this one does have the prices on it. I'm assuming this one does. So let's see what we have here. I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, so the very first thing we have here is the run cropped performance cami. This is $30 and I don't know maybe if you're really into like athletic stuff that's probably like a regular price but this to me is just like a tank top a pretty standard stretchy tank top again I keep hating to bring up TJ Maxx but this at TJ Maxx would be $9.99 and then next up here oh my, oh my goodness oh my darling we have the just black jeans so the high waisted skinny jeans here these are a $78 pair of jeans which is very very expensive I will have admit that I do kind of pay up for jeans jeans whenever I actually buy them. It's been a long time. I like Topshop jeans and they are very expensive but I always wait for them to go on sale. However, those are super stretchy jeans but I feel like they also just really like, suck me in and I feel nice and comfortable and confident in them. I don't know if I would feel super confident in these right now just because I feel like I need a little bit more support for my jeans. However, they were super comfy and stretchy which was nice. Um, I just feel like 78 yeah, $78 is <laughs> just a little bit too much for me to spend on these jeans. Dang it. Snizzle fritz. The skirt. I really, really like the skirt, but this is a $60 skirt. Is this also from Free People? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how much Free People shopping I'm going to be doing anytime soon. Um, So I did really think this was quite cute. I liked how it fit. It was very comfortable. I just don't know, especially with no pockets. Um, if $60 is truly worth it. I do really like it though. I think it's really cute. Um, I was picturing different outfits with it and things for the fall. You know, you could wear like some little tights or something with boots if it was chilly out and like a sweater. <laughs> I just don't know. I just don't know. 60 bucks. That's a lot of, that's a lot of cheddar for a skirt. Also, I think the eye hook closure in the back is sewn kind of weird because it doesn't like fully flatten when you actually use the eye hook. You're so cute and you're so comfy, but you're very expensive. So we'll have to see about that one. <laughs> okay, so the next thing we have in here is the Analay Two Pocket Textured Cardigan, the really cozy kind of burnt orange cardigan that I liked. This is $44. And I guess that's, that's probably not too bad for a cardigan, right? Like that's probably pretty accurate. It's really cute. I like how it fits. I like the length. I like the color. It gives me, gives me all the fall vibes. It just it's, it gives it up to me. This is something that I feel like I could get a lot of use out of. Like I could wear it out a bunch but I could also just wear it around the house because I wear cardigans in the house all the time. So this is something that I might actually consider just because it's, it's pretty cute. And then the very last thing in here we have the Zora ribbed long sleeve pullover. This is $46. And 
like I said, I just feel like this is something that I could definitely pick up at TJ Maxx for. Okay, maybe I couldn't get it for $16.99. Maybe I could though, because I just bought several little uh, sweatery thingies for $16.99 and $12.99. I feel like $46 for me, the way it fit me, it just, I felt pretty boxy in it. I didn't really think it was too flattering. I wasn't a huge fan of where like this big chunky line hit. I have very broad shoulders and I feel like maybe the lighter portion here with the darker portion down here just accentuated my very broad linebacker-esque shoulders. So uh, 46 bucks for me. It does feel very nice. I'm sure it's very nicely made, nice quality, but I don't think this is going to be like a staple of my wardrobe enough to pay that much money for it. So all right, so if I were to purchase everything before the discount, and before the $20 off, it would be $258. I wasn't like choking because I was blown away by that price or anything. I just started choking. Um, <laughs> anyway, if I were to buy everything and get the 25% off discount, it would be $64.50. Then my total would be $193, but I also have the styling fee purchase credit, which is $20. Shipping is free, so that would bring my total to $173.50, if you guys can see that on there, which I think for clothes that I might not get like a ton of use out of is just a little bit Hi. However, this is where they get you. Okay, so I really liked the skirt and I like the cardigan and I actually do really like that stretchy $30 top. I know that's really expensive for a top like that, but I liked how it fit and hit it in a good place and I like the little straps. So if I were to buy just those three things, it would be $134. Oh, okay, maybe that's not that bad. Minus the styling fee, so it would be $114. But this is where like, you know, they get you. It might not be the most economical with these things that I was going to purchase but the whole box is $173 so if I did kind of like those jeans enough to wear them like kind of often which I do like I do think they're really nice they're very comfortable those themselves are $78 when I could get like the whole box for $173 so that is where they get you a little bit when you're like well you know maybe I should just go ahead and get the entire thing so that way I can you know, wear those jeans every now and then. They are really comfortable. And that sweater, I could get some use out of it even though like maybe it's not the most flattering on me. That's where they get you. Cause you already have the stuff in your house and like maybe you don't want to go to the post office and return it. The post office is actually one of my like biggest stressors. <laughs> post office gives me so much anxiety and I don't know why. Okay guys, so this is the issue. I decided that I might get this cardigan and I might get this skirt. The cardigan is $44, the skirt is 60, but even with like my style fee and everything, it comes to $90.24, which is just a lot of money for a skirt and a cardigan, at least to me. And the thing is, for $90, I get these two items, but for $173, I get everything here. You know, a $78 pair of jeans, a $46 sweater, and then a $30 tank top. So if I had more money to spend, like it would kind of make sense economically to get everything. That's only $80 more, and that's pretty much the price of just these jeans. But I don't know. I just feel like this is a lot of money for two items and I just feel like I might be able to especially find this cardigan for cheaper But let me know what you guys think I should do I don't have to send them back just yet So I would love to hear your opinions down below. What should I do? I'm nervous Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below Are there other things that you think I should keep that I'm not like considering keeping? Do you think that I should like continue to get Stitch Fix? Did you guys enjoy this unboxing? Just leave all your thoughts and comments down below in the description Anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind it would the absolute world to me if you guys want to check out the merch we have it it's linked down below it's also like in a little shelf down there which i think is so cute i hope you guys have a lovely wonderful fantastic day and i'll see y'all next time bye